Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of End Times Girls Club, your ultimate guide to apocalypse survival. Our episode today is a brief introduction to the world of doomsday preparedness supplies. So we're gonna do a haul video. Haul video! From the Army Surplus Store. For those of you who don't know, the Army Surplus Store is the scariest place in the world. They have guns Actable. and knives and prepared food that comes in um, powder. So the question of the day is, who could prepare a better go bag from the Army Surplus for $50? Lighter food. Rope. Ow. My friend Trisha has agreed to come judge. Trisha works at the Army Surplus near B's house. I unpack and repack my go bag, you know this, every night every before night. bed. Great, great. So, uh, let's get into it. I'll start. I was a little strapped for time, but I did manage to make a really cute top out of an American flag. It's a beautiful flag. It's from the Spanish-American War, so it's vintage, and it also, uh, because of its history, really includes textures of war, but also of peace, because it's now firm on my body. F. <laughs> you ended up $400 over budget, because that flag was framed not for sale in a piece of history. Fuck up. Okay, my turn. My list can be categorized by importance. First, things to make fire, light and heat. Two, things to keep you warm, duh, mylar blankets. I can't believe you, you have So I got, I have like, time. three, water. Four, food. Next comes weapons, ropes, radios, you know, interpersonal stuff. That's not interpersonal. Fuck off. <laughs> 45 pounds, 30% of my body weight, I can be on the road, on foot, for up to a month when shit goes down. Hey, obviously. Really good job, B. I never for a second doubted that this was a challenge designed for you. You know, I was thinking um, I've been working on that chicken marsala recipe, so if you wanna... Move your trailer out of the tsunami zone and then we'll talk. 